So the magnetic chip detector is installed on the scavenge side of the oil system. And it is made up uh, basically of a plug that has two magnetic elements in it. So this is the oil line. So when we install the magnetic chip, chip detector, we have these magnetic elements and they are connected um, electrically. So there's a wire going to both of these. So let's say our oil is flowing along and there is some metal debris in, in the oil. So as the metal comes past the magnetic magnets, they will uh, adhere to the magnets. And if there's a sufficient enough metal, so if there's enough metal, we'll get a, a contact between this element and this element. So electrical current will be able to pass from this side through the metal back to this side. I'll just draw that in. So electrical current would come down through one line and it'll be able to cross across the metal between the two uh, magnets and back up the far side. And that's the equivalent of having a switch so that when we have metal across the magnetic chip detector effectively what we get is a closed switch and once that switch closes it puts on the magnetic chip detector light in the cockpit and the pilot will have to land uh, as soon as possible. Now on the ground uh, when the aircraft lands after having a, a magnetic chip detector light the maintenance crew would, would remove the filter and they would look at the um, metal particles and would then make a, a decision. You know, if, if there was a metal particle that was quite large in size, well that would be an indication of a bearing or, or some other component is, is beginning to, to break down and probably not a good idea to fly again so we'd probably look at a strip inspection of the engine. If the particles were just very small, you know, really small particles, but just that there was loads of them, then the maintenance manual might suggest just cleaning the magnetic chip detector, putting it back into the engine, uh, running it for some time, and then checking the detector again. It, it, it might not be something that's catastrophic. It might be just maybe the engine is just bedding it or something like that. So maintenance crews would have to um, look at the look at the metal and then determine what action has to be taken. Can the aircraft be returned to service immediately, or does a deeper investigation uh, need to happen? The other thing a uh, maintenance crew can do is when they take the metal particles out from the metal chip detector. So if they take this. They can send uh, send the the sample back to a lab, to uh, and the lab will do some spectral oil analysis, and they'll be able to tell you know what the metal is, and they would probably know from the metal what bearing it's coming coming from, or, or what part of the engine it's coming from, and you can monitor this. And you know, if, if we if we ma monitored the the metal particles, you know, parts per million, you know, if it was going something like this, you know, cause to worry. But then, if it increases suddenly, then there's something obviously breaking down. So that's that's uh, another option to the to the maintenance crew. Anyway, so uh, what I wanted to do was explain what a ma magnetic chip detector is. That's what it is. Just any metal in the oil will be attracted to the magnets uh, the metal just builds up closes a switch and that gives us an alarm in the cockpit and then the engineering side has to do some work after that